Hello my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video we're going to have some fun as we create a toggle off canvas fly out menu using Astra. However in this video I'll be creating our off canvas menu using Astra Pro but in the process of creating our off canvas menu I'll be mentioning the features that are only available in the Pro version so to let you know what you will not be having access to if you only have the free version of Astra. However if you decide to get Astra Pro please use my affiliate link right down in the description box below of which you won't be charged an extra buck but I get a small commission on a purchase that you make. Otherwise now let's jump straight to the video and get started. So the kind of off canvas toggle fly in menu I'm going to show you how I created it will look something like this. When I click over here on the toggle button, boom! The off canvas fly in menu shows up. You can add menu items, you can add media, you can add buttons, you can add social icons, and a lot more. So now let's head straight to the dashboard and I'll show you how I created such an off canvas menu. However, I have to mention that if you have the Astro Pro extension, you'll have access to these modules, the background and colors, typography, spacing. I also activated the nav menu, the spacing feature, the typography colors and background. Now the typography colors and background will add extra features on some widgets that we want to use in our off canvas menu just like I'm going to show you in this video. Now without any further ado let's jump straight into our header footer builder from Astra. To do that we are going to simply come over here to customize simply because I already have the Astra theme installed so when I go to customize I am provided with these features over here. It doesn't matter whether you have the Astra free version you will have access to the header and the footer builder from Astra. In this case, we are interested in accessing the header. So when I click over there, you realize that I'm having these widgets added to my header. And under the different header types, that's where the transparent header option appears and also the sticky header option appears. Now, if you don't have Astra Pro feature and you don't have it activated under the Astra Pro modules, you don't have access to the sticky features. Now, down below here is where we manufacture the magic from, uh, where we can add extra widgets to our header. And a lot more. To explain a little bit how this actually works, for example you see we have three rows, the first row over here, second row and the third row. All these rows represent a certain section of our header. Now the first one represents the above header section, the next one represents our real header and then the last one represents the below header section of our website. Now to show you how this actually would look like in case we have any of these headers created on our Astra based website it would look something like this. For example this is an above header added to this website and then this is the main header which is actually a transparent header and if they wanted they would have added a below header. So now you have an idea on how an above header looks like and the main header and probably also the below header. Now back into our WordPress website we are going to concentrate only on the section of the main header and this is where you see that I have already added widgets to. However, you can add widgets to your header sections whether the above header, main header or the below header. To explain a little bit further, you see I have one widget over here which is called the toggle button and then we have the site identity and logo and then we have the primary menu. The primary menu represents this menu you see over here and this menu is created under the menu section in appearance on our WordPress website. And this header is also divided into three sections. We have the first section, the middle section, and then the very last section. So now the question is, how do you add an off canvas menu to your WordPress website? How do you enable that when someone clicks on this widget over here, this off canvas widget shows up where you have different elements added. The first thing you have to know is that you have to enable the toggle widget on your WordPress website by simply coming to the section where you want to add your toggle. For example, if I delete this toggle element over here, you realize that the off canvas section disappears. And if I come back over here and then I say add, I will have the option to add the toggle button, which is over right here. However, you cannot add more than one toggle buttons in your header section. So that's how you can actually add this toggle button on your WordPress website. You can even position it on a different area of your WordPress website. For example, I can move it to be at the other extreme end of our header, just like here. And even when I click over there, it shows up. I can as well just position it to the other side of my header by dragging it and dropping it to where I want it to be. 
Now we have it after our logo. Once you have your toggle button added to your header, automatically you get the off canvas options over here. If I don't have the toggle button added to my header, I don't have the off canvas options. So I have to add the toggle button and automatically I have the off canvas options. So when I click over here on the off canvas, I have all these options to style up my off canvas. For example, I can say, I want it to be a flyout, I want it to be a full screen or a drop down. If I say I want it to be a full screen, it will fill up the whole screen. If I want it to be a drop down, and now I click over here, it automatically becomes a drop down. In this case, I set it to be a flyout. Then you can also position it to be on the left hand side or on the right hand side. Now that means that if you have this toggle widget added on the other side of your header, which is on the right hand side, just like this, realize that now when I click on this toggle widget, it just flies in from the right hand side. Let me just drag back my toggle widget to where I want it to be. Now you have an idea on how you can position your toggle widget. You can even resize how wide your off canvas widget will be like. You can say 30%, 40% or 50% of the screen view area. For example, when I say 50% here and then I open up my toggle widget, you see it's taking up half of the screen area. Now that's not what I want. I simply want it to be 30%. The other thing that is very crucial to know about is the content alignment. You can say you want your content to be aligned on the right hand side. You see how now this looks like, or you want it to be center aligned, or you want it to be left aligned. Now those are the off canvas settings for your fly in menu. I mean, you can even make changes to your background color, just like over here. I made my background color to be a gradient and you can as well change this gradient to any of your favorite colors that you want. And now I can make changes to my background color of my off canvas menu. See something like this. You can as well make changes to the other color. In case you want to use a color, you can as well use an image as your background for your fly in off canvas menu. I'll leave it to be the gradient like I had set it earlier. And then you can set up the close icon color, which I actually found problems with because once I change a color here, automatically the color changes over here on the close icon color. Now, when I come over here and I publish, I come here to my preview page. I'm going to reload it. You realize that actually the close icon color doesn't change. That is actually happening without even the cache plugin installed on my WordPress website. I think Astro will be fixing some of these bugs in the coming updates. Now the other thing we have to talk about is the inner element spacing. This is the spacing between the elements that you've added in your off canvas menu. If I make it like 180 or 190, you realize that now we have space between these two elements. If I now take it back to 40, you realize that now the space has adjusted. As well, we can add padding to the top of our off canvas, bottom and also the sides left and right. If I make it 100 all over, you'll realize that we have a padding of 100 all over our website. However, that's not what I want. I want to unlink these values. I want to make the top to be 30, right to be 40, left to be 40, and then the bottom to be only 30 also. Or I can make it to be 20 at the bottom. So when I update over here, preview still looks nice and neat. The other thing we also have to talk about is the off canvas toggle widget, which is this over here. It still also has some bugs that I think I will be fixing because look, if I select my toggle widget over here, if I come over here and choose the icon style that I want, I want maybe this icon for our toggle button and I want it to be outlined for example, and then I update. Now we expect that this same kind of styling for our toggle button should be appearing now on our preview website. If I come back here and then I reload our preview website, you realize that we don't have the border appearing. I've tried this several, even when I come over here to the design option, and let me also try to change the border color to something like this. Then I update or publish, come over here to preview, same thing, the border doesn't appear, even without a caching plugin installed on my WordPress website. So I'm like, some of these bugs, Astro will be fixing them probably in the next update because I'm very sure they probably noticed it. Or in case anyone from Astro is watching this video, please help and fix some of these small bugs for our toggle widget and also for our off canvas menu. Anyway, I'm going to set it back to white and also the border radius is going to stay at two, even when it doesn't appear in this case. Now we are making some changes to our off canvas widget that flies out. Now, how do you add this content into your off canvas? 
For example, I have the menu over here, I have an HTML widget, I have a button here, and I have social media widgets added here. So for example, if I remove all the widgets and I come over here and I say add, I'll add an off canvas menu. And how do I identify my off canvas menu is by simply coming over here and I configure it in my menu locations. I'll say my off canvas menu is a demo menu. And this menu, you must have already created it in your menus area and appearance in your WordPress website. Back into our header, come to the header builder. Now we've added our off canvas menu. Next, we're going to add an image into our off canvas, just like you see over here. How do we do that? Simply just come over here, click on the add icon, and I'm going to use an HTML widget. Some of these widgets are not all available in the free version of Astra, just like you see over right here. In this case, you only have HTML2 widget. However, if you have the Astra Pro, you have the HTML2 widget and up to 10 other HTML widgets. But there are also other widgets that are completely not into the free version of Astra, just like you see over right here. Anyway, back into our customizer. We are going to add an HTML2 widget. And in this HTML2 widget, we are going to add a media file by coming over here and say add a media. And we are going to add an image of our bugger, which is this over here. I'll insert into the post. I'll come over here, center it, and I want it to be using the large image size. I'll update and I publish. Now we have two widgets into our off canvas menu. If I come over here and I show you how that looks like, we have the off canvas menu and we have the HTML widget where we added a media file. We're going to add a button. So I'll just simply come over here and the button. When I click over here on the button option, we can add text to that button, which will appear in our off canvas menu. The styling options can be added over right here under the design option and you can change the text color. This is the normal color and then this is the hover color. If I switch that up to something different, see it actually changes. The same applies with the border width. You can make it 2, you can make it 11, depending on what you want. I'll leave it at 6, what I had done earlier. You can as well make changes to the font face of the button. However, this option is only available to the Astra Pro users where you can make changes to a specific button widget. To access it, first of all, you have the Astra Pro widget and make sure that you activate the typography module under the Astra Pro modules. Then you will actually be having this extra option. Otherwise, it will be using the default button styling that is provided by Astra. And we're back into our customizer. Now we are going to add another widget, which is for the social buttons. So when I come over here, I look up for my social widgets. Next, what I can do is select that social widget and I can add which widgets. Vimeo, TripAdvisor, let me say TripAdvisor. Then I can say add widget. Then you can actually reorder these widgets the way you want, something like that. You can come over here to the design option and you can make changes to the design the design of your icons. For example, if you want custom colors, like over here I used custom colors. If you want the official color, you can just switch over there and then you have the official color from those social media platforms. Anyway, I want to use my custom colors. As well, you can make changes to all the label color and the background colors. I also have to mention that I found issues while trying to style up my submenu items. For example, over here, when I come to design, after selecting my off canvas menu, come to design. Over right here, I have the link color set to black. And for example, if I come over here and I set the hover color, let me say, for example, a green. Now, when I update or I publish, and I come over here to our preview website, you are going to realize that now for the submenu item, nothing actually has changed. See, even for the other submenu item. I think that is something Astra also has to look into for the styling options for the submenu items. The other option that shows up if you have only Astra Pro is the menu font specifically for the off canvas menu. Otherwise, if you don't have Astra Pro, you won't be having this option to set up a custom font for your off canvas menu. It will be using the default styling that is provided by Astra. All right, I think I'm pretty summed up all that you needed to know once you want to create an off canvas menu using Astra. Most important thing that you have to note is that you have to add a toggle widget where you want to add your off canvas menu and automatically you'll have the off canvas option. Then you can add widgets to your off canvas section just like you see over right here. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm happy I finally created it for some of you folks who have been asking for it and also those who have been searching on how to actually create this off canvas menu using Astra. Now, in case you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Have a good time and goodbye.